He should be fired. I mean, the thing is, he you, still. Dr. Fox, you should be fired. A absolutely. By the president. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is, is just for lack of judgment, if nothing else, I don't, you know, he's probably never going to admit that he lied. He's going to continue to dissemble and try to work around the truth and massage the truth. So that's uh, Senator Rand Paul calling on Dr. Fauci to be fired. He made that interview with Axios over the weekend. This after the NIH admitted to funding some level of gain of function research at the lab in Wuhan, something Fauci denied multiple times under oath, including this time last May. Watch. The NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain of function research in the Wuhan Institute Do they fund of Virology. Dr. Bear? If you look at the grant and you look at the uh, progress reports, it is not gain of function. So, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, my guest now, and sir, thank you for coming back here on America's Newsroom. Good morning to you. What do we think now? Well, the thing is, is overwhelmingly the evidence points towards this virus. COVID came from some lab. There hasn't been shown to be an intermediate animal host. It looks like it came from a lab. And the technique they use in Wuhan and other labs is da very dangerous. They combine an unknown virus with a virus that can cause a pandemic. And they say, what happens? They see what happens. And so now the NIH has admitted they combined an unknown virus with the SARS virus, which caused a pandemic in 2004. And they did create viruses in the lab that don't exist in nature that gained ability. They gained function. They gained dangerousness. That sounds like gain of function, but you know what? Dr. Fauci still says it wasn't gain of function because we did not know in advance that this was going to happen. So they're doing experiments by combining unknown viruses with viruses that cause pandemic, and they don't know what they're gonna get. And so Dr. Fauci says, well, that's okay. It's not really gain of function unless gain of function occurs, but it's like, really, we're going to let them experiment with pandemic causing viruses and unknown viruses. This is very, very dangerous research. I've been calling for an investigation in two full committees for over six months now. Not one Democrat has allowed one hearing to develop. And this is important because what if the next virus that comes out of a lab has 15% mortality or 50% mortality? Two of the viruses they're experimenting with actually do have that kind of mortality, and the NIH has been funding this kind of research, and it should stop. We, we had an expert on yesterday said we don't know yet what the Chinese were doing inside the lab in Wuhan, what exactly they were doing with the money and the technique. Uh, you were on Axios. Fauci was on ABC and said this. Roll it. I obviously totally disagree with Senator Paul. He's absolutely incorrect. Neither I nor Dr. Francis Collins, the director of the NIH, lied or misled about what we've done. When people talk about gain of function, they make that implication, which I think is unconscionable to do, to say, well, maybe that research led to SARS-CoV-2. So also in that interview, he said it would be molecularly impossible for those viruses that were worked on to turn into SARS-CoV-2. How do you respond to that claim? He's created a straw man argument because we aren't alleging that any of the viruses that have been published are the virus that is COVID or related to COVID. We're arguing that the technique of recombining viruses is how COVID could have been created with that technique. Fauci saying the technique was never used. So he's really still lying to the American public. If the Chinese actually created COVID, do you think they're going to publish a paper and release that, oh, whoops, we created COVID and it got some people got sick and it slipped out into the public? They're never going to admit that. But this goes to Fauci's lack of uh, or his naivete as far as uh, judgment. He still thinks it's a good idea to send money to Wuhan. To this date, the NIH is still sending money to Wuhan because Dr. Fauci trusts the scientists in China. Well, I frankly don't. I think they've lied to us. And there's a great deal of evidence. They've looked at thousands of blood samples from 2019. And if this was percolating through the, uh, through the population, we should have found at least hundreds of people in China that had COVID-19 in 2019. They found zero in a sample of thousands of blood samples they looked at, which to the researchers that looked at this indicate that this came directly to humans. It didn't come oh. from animals first. Okay, Senator, thank you. The debate will continue here uh, for lack of a congressional investigation. I wonder if we will ever know the answer, and I think you know what Beijing's going to do. They're not going to give you much. Senator, we'll continue the conversation soon. Rand Paul in D.C. Thank you. Thank you.